Hey guys, Razor Warrior here, and welcome back to another episode of Little Big Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a damage input system. So let's go and check out what I mean over here. Okay, so over here I have three different uh, projectiles coming out. I have a red projectile, an orange projectile, and a yellow projectile. And well, basically, uh, all of those will be giving me uh, different, you know, damages. So, like the yellow one, I should have the least amount of damage with that one. No, I'm not taking too much damage. If I switch to the orange projectile, I'll be taking significantly more damage. And with the red one, you'll see I'll take a lot more. So, let's go and see how it's done. So, let's go and get this out of the way over here. And let's go and start out by placing a piece of hologram. Let's bring that down a bit. Now, of course, like always, we're going to be using our handy dandy uh, broadcast microchip. And let's just go ahead and expand this a little bit. And let's go and tweak this around to make sure that it's set to... Oh, creatures? Uh, it's set to all in range, maximum, maximum detection, uh, infinite. And set that to all 16 layers, just like that. And there we go, now it's already set up. Now, uh, let's go and start placing the actual... Um, impact sensors. So of course since you know there's gonna be projectiles shooting at you, how are we gonna sense that out by those projectiles? Well, by an impact sensor. So let's go and place three because we have three different ones. Well, actually we can go and copy them. Make our lives a little bit easier. So let's go and start the first one off by uh, making sure that includes all rigid connections, include touching and includes or uh, require a tag. Because, well, let me go ahead and pause here. The projectile I have over here, uh, it, it has a little tag, and that's how we know, you know, what uh, damage it's going to be, you know, giving. So let me just move this over here so you can see a little bit better. So, I have three different tags, so let's go ahead and make the first one red. Or, let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and make it yellow for right now. And... That's going to be about it. Now next, uh, remember how I was talking to you guys about pulses in the last video, in the last logic tutorial? Well, that's kind of uh, what we're going to be using here. So let's go ahead and bring this out and set this to 0.1 seconds. Then we're going to have the current time set to 0.1 seconds and let's invert this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have um, the impact sensor connected to the reset uh, input of the timer and now let's go ahead and place down a microchip and under logic let's go ahead and get out a battery so let's clean this up a bit now what we're doing here is um, we're going to set a certain percentage output on the battery itself. And well, like right now we can go and make it about, let's go and put it about 20. And uh, basically what, since, you know, we can't actually uh, turn on or off a battery, we're going to have that um, actually, we're going to have it turn on and off with an actual microchip. So that's why we connected it, uh, connected this pulse to uh, the activate um, uh, input for the microchip. Now that we have this, let's go and straighten it out a bit and let's go and copy this three times for all three projectiles. Now what we're going to do is just go and change this one to orange and then change this one to red. And now we're going to change the battery um, outputs the damage outputs, so let's go and make the red one about like 60% damage. And then we can make the orange one, um, let's see, let's try 40% damage. That way it's like a in-between. 
Uh, now uh, we're gonna need a way to combine all of these uh, actual, you know, damage inputs, right? Well, we're gonna be using an OR gate. So let's go ahead and put the number of ports set to three, and now this is where we're gonna be connecting the batteries. Now, since there might be the possibility that, uh, you know, several damage inputs might, you know, impact you at the same time, um, you know, we, we want all of those damage inputs to actually count, so let's go ahead and set the output value to add inputs. Now, what we're going to go ahead and use is a direction, um, a direction combiner. And since we're actually getting, uh, you know, hurt, we're going to put it to the negative side. Now, basically the same exact thing that we're doing here, if you want to go ahead and, um, you know, heal you, you know, uh, what's it called? Like, you know, add uh, health to your uh, health bar, uh, you would just do the same exact thing and put it into the positive side. Now, how are we going to actually, um, you know, sense or... Uh, Let's see, like how can we actually measure how much damage we're taking? Well, the way we're going to do that is we're going to be using a timer, basically. And we're going to set it to 0.1 seconds. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us the closest value that we can to um, actually use these percentages in the battery, you know, as efficiently as possible. Now let's just go and uh, connect the direction combiner output into the timer input and let's ch just change this up a bit we're going to go ahead and set this to speed scale again this is uh what utilizes the percentage functions from the battery and set this to uh, current time 0.1 seconds and let's go ahead and invert that okay so let's just quickly test it out let me go and lock the camera so we can see. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and take off the invert. There we go. And now, of course, uh, when we actually die, we're gonna have a um, you know an actual death animation. So uh, just to make it simple on us, we can go ahead and use a creature tweaker. Um, the kill tweaker, just like that. And since the life bar is already set to 100%, uh, you know, we don't want to die immediately, so it's going to have to be inverted so that it senses or it turns on the kill tweaker when we're dead, when we have, you know, uh, no input coming from the timer. So let's go ahead and invert it. The not gate. And let's just change this around. Kill owner. Let's go ahead and use the horrible gas effect. Now let's quickly test it out. Let me lock it. Alright, there you go. And you'll see that I'm taking damage appropriately. Let's go and change it and test out all three. That's the orange uh, damage input. And lastly, let's try the yellow one. And it's working just fine. So, perfect. So, that's pretty much about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, this is a very basic uh, damage input system. And uh, you can mess around with it uh, a little bit on your own if you want and uh, you know add actual uh, positive uh, outputs and negative uh, if you want and uh, yeah so make sure you uh, like and subscribe and comment down below on what other tutorials you would like to see in the future and I'll catch you guys later